In this video, we're going to prove that a set is a group. So let G be the set of all positive rationals that have rational square roots. We want to prove that G is a group under multiplication. So let's go ahead and go through it very carefully. So proof. So to prove it's a group, we basically have to show that we have a binary operation on this set, which in this case is multiplication. We have to show that the operation is associative we have to show that there exists an identity element, and we have to show that every element has an inverse. So first note that it's not empty um, because one is in this set. Uh, one is a positive rational whose uh, square root is also rational. And we'll talk about that later, but uh, just an observation. So let's go ahead and justify um, why we have a binary operation on this set. So take any, uh, let's just say A, B, and G. Okay, so any two elements in G. And so then A, B is rational because it's the product of two rational numbers. Because it is the product of two rationals. Okay, so something to note, right? Also, it's positive because it's the product of two positive numbers. Also, AB is positive because it is the product of two positive numbers. Okay, so we took two elements in G, and because they're both rational, um, the product is rational. Because they're both positive, the product is positive. So now we just need to verify that um, they have uh, rational square roots. So lastly, or that it has a rational square root, um, the square root of AB, well, that's the square root of A times the square root of B, right? And these are both rational, so this is the product of rationals. So this is also rational, it is rational because it is the product of rationals. Okay, so, so basically the product AB has a rational root. So given any two elements in this set, we know that the product is a positive rational with a rational square root. That is exactly what it means for the product to be an element in this set. Thus, A, B is in G. And this shows that multiplication is a binary operation on this set. So this shows that multiplication is a binary operation on this set. Okay, so a little bit wordy, but we, we want to be careful. Let me just recap what we did. So the first step in showing that this is a group is to show that we have a binary operation. So given any two elements in this set, we have to show the product is in the set. What does that mean? We have to show the product is a positive rational that has a rational square root. So first we emphasize that it's rational because it's the product of two rationals. Then we emphasize that it's positive because it's the product of two positive numbers. And then lastly, we emphasize that it has a rational root because, well, notice it can be written as the product of two rational numbers, right? Because these elements, A and B, are in this set. Therefore, they have rational roots. So we have that the square root of AB is the product of two rationals, hence it is rational. So this shows that AB is a positive rational number, which has a rational square root. Therefore, its product is also in G. So a lot to say there on um, the binary operation side. Now we just have to talk about why is it associative. So I'm just gonna put um, a, a little one here. Let's talk about associativity. So I'll just say associativity. So this is typically 
one. This is typically the first thing you're supposed to like, when they define a group, it's associativity, existence of the identity, and then every element has an inverse. And then the part about binary operation is usually stated at the outset. So I'll start numbering here. So associativity is going to be clear in this case because basically we just simply have multiplication of rational numbers and multiplication of rational numbers is associative. So I'm just gonna say uh, multiplication is associative on G. And that's because it is the usual multiplication of real numbers because it is the usual multiplication of real numbers. Okay, so that's, that's why we have associativity and the usual multiplication of real numbers is associative. The second thing we have to verify is um, the existence of an identity element. So here, we're gonna say E is equal to one. We're gonna say that's the identity element. Note this is in G because it is a positive rational with the square root of one equal to one. So it has a rational root which is rational. And it's going to be the identity. Uh, so note for all x and g, we have x times one, which is equal to x, which is equal to one times x. So this is going to be uh, the identity. So that's why I said here e equals one, basically saying it's the identity. So, so no, so let me just leave it at that. <laughs> it's the identity. I said it's equal to one, so that's, that's what we know. There you can see. All right, the third condition is the existence of an inverse. So given any x and g, uh, that means it's positive, then one over x will be its inverse since x times one over x is equal to the identity, which is equal to one over x times x. And a couple things need to be said here. So note, this makes sense because x is positive, right? So one over x, we can talk about it. Um, note one over x is rational because it is the reciprocal of a rational number. Also, it's positive. That's pretty clear. Also, it is positive because x is positive. So one over x is positive. Moreover, the square root of one over x is equal to one over the square root of x, which is rational. Because it, is, because it is the reciprocal of a positive rational, positive rational, right? Because the square root of x is rational because x is in g. So just a lot to say there just to justify this, right? This, you know, we need to explain why this is in um, g, so. So thus, one over x is indeed in g. So yeah, so that's it. So we've satisfied all the criteria. So therefore, a g under the operation of multiplication is a group. So kind of went through this pretty quickly, but hopefully this helps someone out there who is uh, learning group theory. So basically you just have to justify um, why it's a binary operation and then go through and verify associativity the existence of an identity and uh, every element should have an inverse. So, and, and this part here, you could, you could say this before this, I just kind of did it and then just backtracked a little bit and explained, you know, why this is actually in this set. I hope this video has been helpful to someone who is learning some stuff about groups. Good luck.